Hi everyone, I'm John O'Bacon. I'm the founder of my consulting firm, John O'Bacon Consulting, and I'm also the author of People Powered, How Communities Can Supercharge Your Business Brand and Teams. There is a, a common norm and culture in the business world of um, you measure success based upon a set of individual numbers, right? And we look at revenue, um, and within the context of open source, there are a number of different numbers in which you can track open source community health. Um, the tricky thing is that I think it varies depending on the type of community and the type of project that you're working on. So for example, if you're working on um, engineering, you might be tracking um, the number of submitted pull requests and you know time to first response on a pull request and those different pieces. So to me, the value of metrics is critical because if you're not measuring it, you can't assess whether you're actually making progress and, and improving. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I always recommend to companies I work with, track a small set of metrics to understand what you want to get to. Like um, if you want to understand whether we can make our engineering more efficient, whether we can build a broader community, track a small set of metrics and do it well and look at the patterns and then you'll be able to make changes based upon the data that you see. Yeah, there's a few things here. I think the first thing is is be very, very focused in what you measure uh, and measure with a purpose, right? So there are, I kind of rail on this in a lot of my writing and in my talks where people track everything. They set up these dashboards and they track a million different things and there's a million different graphs. And that's a million different conversations that you need to have. So I would always recommend, think about the insights that you want to derive from your community or your organization. Um, do you want to track developer growth? Do you want to track the amount of participation you're seeing in your community? Um, how much people are, are consuming content on your forum? Uh, do you want to track the diversity of your participants? And then construct metrics based upon those things, those questions that you've got. To me, the most important thing is track your metrics and the cadence. So let's say you're tracking each, each, each day and then review your metrics, let's say either once a week or once a month or once a quarter and ask yourself the question, what are the patterns that we're seeing inside of these results? Um, so for example, if you see that your, um, your traffic to your forum is growing, but the number of registrations to your forum is going down, then people are consuming your community, but they're not adding additional value to it. And that maybe means that you need to make it more interesting for people to join. So I think that's the most important thing. The other thing as well is, I think being intentional is, don't just look at your Biturgia dashboard, you know, when you feel like it, look at it, have a meeting schedule where you all look at it and you look at the data and you play detective. What can we read and what can we take away from it? But you've got to be intentional about and how you do that. And make sure that when you look at your metrics, there's always a response, there's always a next step, there's an action from it, not just, yeah, things look great or things don't look very good. What are we going to do based upon what we're seeing? So I think the metrics is a hot topic within open source. And one of the reasons for that is we know how to measure some things. Like we've got pretty good at measuring code and issues, but we're not good at measuring um, enthusiasm and excitement and events and passion and happiness and all of the intrinsic attributes of being a human being participating in communities. And I think our technology is getting better and better at figuring that stuff out. So I think the more we understand what not to do, such as you know, the old days of forums where when you hit 500 posts to a forum, you'd go up a, in, a, in a leaderboard. Those were not the right way of handling those kinds of metrics in terms of community participation. Now we're tracking in, in smarter ways. But to me, the future needs to be understanding the human dynamics of how we participate, which is really hard maths to do. Um, and I think when we can get there and we can understand that, we'll, we'll be able to optimize the human side of how we build communities as well. Um, the other thing is just everybody's got a different level of understanding for what you're tracking. So I think getting organizations and teams around, getting everyone on the same page in terms of what we're tracking, why we're tracking it, and what that means, I think is, is critical. So.
Yeah, I mean, I'm broadly of the view that we should be using data to track everything. Um, and you can't use data to track everything, right? You can't, you can't plug everything into a dashboard. There are just some things we have to track when it comes to the human dynamics of how we work together. But the more we can instrument software engineering with metrics at every phase of that software engineering life cycle, the more insight we get into how people actually operate together. Um, because the problem with this, I think, is that if you go up to any developer and ask them a question about um, their opinions about how they're making software, you'll get a biased viewpoint by definition because everyone's got an opinion. Um, the benefit of having data is that it doesn't necessarily tell us the way we have to work, but it gives us more insight into the, way, into the ways that people actually work. So to me, this is a really fundamental part of how we operate. Everyone who's building any kind of software should be instrumenting every step of that process with metrics and evaluating those metrics to, to determine like how do we improve and how do we refine how we work together and make the work more impactful and, and more fulfilling as well. What makes me really passionate about open source is the fact that open source is one of the best implementations of community and community dynamics. I'm passionate about this because I think when we get together as a group and we have a shared mission and a shared ethos and we have a good set of tools, it is amazing what we can produce. You know, we've produced the open source movement. You get companies like Salesforce with a million plus members in their community. Procter & Gamble, Lego, Harley-Davidson, all of these amazing communities are a result of people getting together with a bigger vision and purpose than just themselves. And I think we're just at the beginning of, of watching this, this kind of revolution forming. And, you know, it's companies like Bittergia and many companies in the open source world that are helping to, to make this, this magic happen. So.